We're live outside Moffitt Cancer Center where we are honoring all of the men and women of the United States military this Veterans Day during our very first flag raising ceremony. Freedom High School's junior ROTC is out here. They'll be presenting the colors and also raising the flag. We also have Moffitt's 20 member choir who will be singing patriotic songs and we're honoring Mr. Arthur Kropp. Arthur Kropp is a World War II veteran who fought in the Battle of Leyte and at 92 years old last year he found himself in a battle of another kind as he fought pancreatic cancer. His physician, Dr. Pamela Hodel, will be presenting him with a very special token of appreciation for his service today. Moffitt Cancer Center is very proud of all of the men and women of the United States military, and we hope you enjoy today's service. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Moffitt's Veterans Day Recognition Ceremony. My name is... I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Moffitt, and on behalf of our founder, Mr. Moffitt, all of our board members, our CEO, Dr. Alan List, and our leadership team, thank you for joining us as we raise the flag to honor our veterans. I would like now to ask all of the men and women who have served in the military to please be stand, to stand and be recognized. Thank you so much for all of the service to our country. Now please join me in welcoming Valerie Storms, manager of Moffitt's Chaplaincy Care Department to offer today's invocation. Thank you, Mr. Klosky. As a society, we are accustomed to bowing our heads, closing our eyes when an invocation is given. But I invite you today, if you are comfortable, to join me in what I would like to offer as an open-eyed blessing. We are gathered today in the presence of all that is holy and sac sacred to acknowledge those who have given their lives for our country. Some have paid the ultimate sacrifice in the loss of their physical lives. Others yet have lost hopes, dreams, ways of living. Some live with scars that are visible. Many live with scars that are not. But for all, we offer our thanks. And for those who have gone before, for these who are presently serving among us, and for those that will follow, we offer our ultimate thanks. For freedom is not free. What our veterans have paid is the price we pay for our freedom, is the price we pay to be here today. So every day is Veterans Day. And let us give thanks always without ceasing. Amen. Thank you, Valerie. Under the leadership of Captain Ted Wassel Q, First Sergeant Eric Bowman, and Chief Eric Williams, we are honored to have the Navy Junior ROTC Color Guard from Freedom High School here today to present the colors and raise the flag. The national anthem will be performed by Cadet Olivia Kohler from the University of South Florida's Air Force ROTC program. Please stand for the presentation of the colors and the singing of our national anthem.
Please be seated. Thank you, Freedom High School. Now join me in welcoming Dr. Pamela Holden, surgical oncologist and medical director of the nutritional support team in the Department of I didn't break it. <laughs> uh, it is my great honor and privilege to be standing before all of you today on this most beautiful day this morning with the sun shining and the weather being perfect to all come together to honor our veterans and to pay thanks and, and give them respect for all of their dedication and service to this country. It is with great pleasure today that I get to introduce Mr. Arthur Kropp. He has so many accomplishments that I had to leave a little couple notes on my paper today so that I don't forget. Mr. Kropp was just 18 years old when he enlisted in the United States Navy in 1942. Two years later, he was on board the USS Enterprise, which was the most decorated ship in World War II. He fought the Battle of Leyte there. In fact, he also flew missions that were along the lines and, and um, at the same time as George H.W. Bush. His fighter plane unfortunately went down with him and two other crew members on board, forcing the trio to spend all day and night on a life raft. Mr. Kropp was listed as missing in action before finally being rescued. Nearly 70 years later, Mr. Kropp found himself in another battle. This time, it was fighting pancreatic cancer. Last year, in December, he underwent a Whipple procedure at the age of 92. He is now cancer free. He also enjoys going out dancing every week with his beautiful wife, Glenna Jo. So I think that had some, some motivation. So please welcome me in introducing Ms. Glenna Jo Krop, as well as my friend and hero. Mr. Arthur Kropp. I am a survivor in more ways than one. And I, and I had my guardian angel, Dr. Pamela Hodel, to thank for it, and the Moffitt Cancer Center, the most wonderful, gracious bunch of people I have ever met. And I'm so happy to have been honored today and all you wonderful people. And I hope you all have a, a very good day. Thank you. On behalf of Moffitt Cancer Center and an appreciation for all of your service to this country and for just being such a great person, I would like to present this 
to you on behalf of Moffitt Cancer Center. Thank you. American Idol. <clears throat> okay. Welcome. My name is Martin Kramer. I'm a Chief Petty Officer of the United States Navy and I also work here at the Graduate Medi Medical Education Office. I am privileged to be speaking with you today on such an important occasion. We are here to honor our military veterans, remember their sacrifices, and their courage it takes to defend our nation. I would like to personally thank Mr. Kropp for his service, as well as all of our fellow veterans. We are so glad to have you here with us this morning. Your bravery, not only in combat, but also through your fight against cancer is truly an inspiration. Today we honor our heroes, remembering their achievements, their courage, and their dedication. We stand in the midst of patriots who have nobly served. Moffat would like to say thank you for answering the call to duty. You have made our armed forces the most respected in the world. We would also like to recognize those who have supported our veterans through difficult times and often have taken the heavy load to keep the home fires burning. A special thank you to families, spouses, and friends for what you have done to continue to do for our nation's heroes. Thank you. Our service members come from all walks of life, but they, have share, but they share several fundamental qualities. They possess courage, pride, determination, selflessness, dedication to duty, and integrity. All of the qualities needed to serve a cause larger than oneself to be part of something bigger. They were extraordinary people who responded in extraordinary ways in extreme times. They stood up to our nation's call because they wanted to protect a country which has given us so much. Our gathering at Moffitt is just one small way we can honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice so that we can live in freedom. Your presence here today and those gathering all across America is a tribute to what we have lost and to their families. It is a way to say we honor and remember you. Thank you for taking the time to join us. God bless you, your families, our military, and God bless America. Now, to help close out today's uh, ceremony, please join me in welcoming the Moffat Choral to sing a selection of patriotic songs.
Weren't they great? Thank you all for joining us this morning in, to honor our servicemen and women. And I'd particularly like to invite the veterans who are in attendance to join us in the Stabil Research Building Trustees Boardroom for breakfast immediately following this program. Once again, thank you for your service. It's an honor to stand with you each and every day. Thank you.